like old times. Uh, um, excuse me, Curtis. Er, uh, uh, sir? What? I think he's from another squad. Why is he talking to me? I'll be joining you for tomorrow's operation, so I, uh, I, I thought I'd introduce myself. Sure. He came specifically to introduce himself. I should say something back, or... or something. Come on, gotta say something. God, I can't think straight. I can feel my face going red. I've heard of your skill on the battlefield, sir. I'll do my best, and I promise I won't slow you down. Just get out of my sight. <laughs> oh! What am I saying? No, no, it's just bad nerves. I... I don't know you that well, so... Um, I'm sorry, sir. I'll, I'll just go. Um... I did it again. Stupid, stupid. Why do I... <laughs> hey there, Curtis. Scared off another one, huh? Lawrence. What should I do? He came all the way to introduce himself, and I just completely blew him off. Well, a lot of people see you as the perfect soldier. You're quiet, stoic, and skilled. That's why everyone's so intimidated. And that's why people keep trying to get your attention like that. But it's all just a misunderstanding. Just when people talk to me, my anxiety flares up and... I'm just no good at talking to people, unless it's you or my sister. Don't worry, I got your back. Just like always, right? We can go tell him you didn't mean it. Thanks, Laurent. Hey, that's what friends are for. Man, you're kind of a nervous wreck. But your sister, on the other hand... Oh, Eileen, I've just got a quick question about our equipment. Hey, Eileen, you got a sec? Need a hand over here. Okay, I'll be right there. Eileen's always been so responsible. Everyone trusts and relies on her. Sounded like she'll be on tomorrow's mission, too. You're supposed to be the big brother here. You gotta shape up. Right. Okay, that should be everything I need for tomorrow. Man, when we were kids, I'd never have guessed we'd end up fighting back to back in the army. Not to mention Eileen joining up with us. She used to be so shy. Eileen's changed a lot since we were little. She's gotten level-headed, reliable. I never imagined she could be such a warrior either. She's really proven herself on the battlefield. Maybe she's putting in the extra effort because she wants to help someone out? Someone she cares about? Wow. But who? You really are clueless. Maybe a certain brother of hers? Curtis, you're on the mission tomorrow, aren't you? Do you have everything? Yeah, I think that should do it. Come on, show a little confidence. Those Imperials will jump on you the first chance they get. Jeez, so transparent. Just come on out and say you're worried about him. And you, Laurent, stop babying Curtis just because he's your best friend. Ugh. You know, you used to be a lot cuter. You used to be so scared of everything, and you'd always come crying to Curtis for help. What? Th that was a long time ago. You're being stupid. Anyway, just make sure you're ready for tomorrow, all right? You're clumsy enough as it is, Curtis. And I'm not a kid anymore. 
I can protect him like he protected me. <laughs> well, she's full of energy. Guess we gotta keep up, right? Uh, I can't take this pressure. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Dang. How did you even get the courage to volunteer? Really, why'd you enlist? Huh? I never told you? I joined because I was worried about you going off alone. Worried? About what? I'm just here to take out the bad guys. The Empire's evil. It's our job to make sure good wins and evil loses. I guess that hasn't changed. You've always had such a strong sense of justice. But I don't know about branding the entire Empire as pure evil. You're just too soft. If you want to survive out there, you've got to believe in what you're doing. Yeah. I understand that. But it's nice to know you're thinking of me. I'm glad you've got my back, okay? But don't worry. If you've got my back, I've got yours. Sound good, partner? Yeah, it does. Let's show them what we're made of. Allow me to brief you on your mission. operations. Huh? Where's Eileen? She was here just a moment ago. <coughs> huh? Uh, Curtis, that sounded like... <laughs> Eileen, where are you? Answer me! That idiot! He wants to charge in alone? Then now show him what happens to... Out of my way! <laughs> you never change, huh? Anytime Eileen's in trouble, you finally get serious. What do I do? I don't know where everyone went. I even gave Curtis that big lecture and now... Giving up already? That's not like you. Curtis! And Laurent! You came all this way for me? No, no, no. You have to get out of here. We're completely surrounded in this position. Understood. Stay behind me. Relax, Eileen. You know Curtis. When he gets like this, nothing can stop him. Fall 
moving out. Keep going. They might be soldiers after all. Enemies. Enemy spotted. Over Domestic there. Domestic attack. Leave it to me. to me. Engaging. 
There. Enemy down. They're good. Nice to feel dirt under my feet. They're in range. Moving out. Let's keep going. No! I'm giving the orders. I need your support. Got you covered. Merge required. <laughs> Enemy spotted. Watch out! Get down! I, I had no idea he was there. Thanks, Curtis. Yeah, but... Why didn't you fire? All you had to do was pull the trigger. I couldn't. I've got a sister. Just her age. What? <laughs> Pretty pathetic way to go out, huh? I blame you for laughing. No. If I were in your shoes, I couldn't have pulled that trigger either. I see. She's your sister, then. Make sure you... keep her safe. What was that? Empire's evil, but he. I think one of the most dangerous things we can do in war is tell ourselves that everyone who opposes us is evil. <sighs> Let's save this for later. We need to get out of here first. Yes, the mission was a success. Come on, guys, let's head back. Right. Yeah. Huh? Two of them are acting weird. I wonder what's wrong. Curtis? Hey, Eileen. You did good today. You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. Um, thanks for coming to save me back there. I thought you were really cool. Yeah, you should have seen your face when you charged right at them. He looked like a demon. I... I don't know about that. And, um... I'm sorry. Huh? For what? I was acting all tough, saying I'd protect you, but you ended up having to protect me again. You don't have to apologize for that. Of course I'd protect my little sister. Sometimes I forget how you're so... Wow. How many years has it been since you called me Big Bro? Huh? Oh, wait. That doesn't count. I didn't mean to say it. I... I... I just came by.
try to say thanks. That's all, okay? Cur wow. I leans back to being shy. Now I've seen everything. <laughs> uh, Laurent? What's the matter? You're looking pretty down. I was just thinking about what you said. About telling ourselves what's evil and what's not. What did I say? What? You seriously don't remember? Sorry. Dang. You really are an airhead sometimes. But I guess that's how it's always been. Ever since we were kids. In the end, Curtis, you always were the one who could set us straight. And you always do the right thing. I, uh, I don't know about that. I've made my fair share of mistakes. Sometimes it's hard for me to tell right from wrong. I know what you mean. I thought I had good and evil figured out, but I don't know anymore. War's more sad than anything else. I didn't realize it until today. We have to end this. Well, you're my best friend. Long as we stick together, I think we can make a difference. What about me? You too, yeah. It's reassuring to have a little sister I can rely on. You're the one we're always counting on, Curtis. Let's do our best to finish this war. All three of us. Yeah. Of course.